All right, so let's look at non-quadratic trinomials. Uh, similar to quadratic trinomials and the fact that there are three terms uh, right here, but non-quadratic because my largest degree is not two. In this case, it's four. Now, in a lot of these cases, uh, once I take out a greatest common factor, if there is one, I'm going to be left with something that's uh, x to the fourth and x to the squared in the middle. Now, the reason that this happens is I can actually do a little substitution off to the side. Uh, I can replace x squared with y. And when I do that, I can also make the substitution that x to the fourth, which is x squared squared, will be y squared. And that'll put me in a position so that I can take the value of y squared and put it here for x to the fourth. I can take the value of y and put it here for x squared. So it's just going to re rearrange my, uh, the way that my polynomial looks here. I'm going to end up with 8y squared plus 2y minus 15. And that actually takes me directly to a quadratic trinomial. And I will proceed as I normally would with a quadratic trinomial by multiplying the lead coefficient and the constant term. So I'll do that off to the side here. 8 times negative 15 is going to be negative 120. That was a lot of factors of 120, so I'm just actually going to list them all. Um, you don't have to list all of them, but once you get to a certain point, it's kind of easy just to keep them organized to make sure that you have every pair that you need. Uh, let's see, I think 5 will work too, right? 5 is going to leave us with 24. Uh, 6 definitely works with 20. Uh, 7 does not work, but 8 does. 8 with 15, and then 10 with 12. Okay, so a lot of pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different pairs. And we need to pick the one that is going to subtract to give us our middle coefficient of 2. And fortunately, there's really only one option there, 10 and 12. So I'm going to rewrite 8y squared plus 2y minus 15, specifically rewriting the 2y using 10 and 12 and a subtraction. It's going to give me 8y squared. Again, the order is a little up to you, but you have to make sure that that middle will reduce to the 2y. And 12y minus 10y is how I reduced it to 2y. Now we can do a little grouping. 8y squared plus 12y, negative 10y minus 15. We're going to group those two. The first two share a 4y, leaving behind 2y plus 3. Really hoping that when I factor these, I'm left with 2y plus 3. Sure enough, if I take out a negative 5, that's exactly what will be left behind. And now because these two are identical, I'm able to factor that out, 2y plus 3, and I'm left with 4y minus 5, which of course came from the 4y and the minus 5. And it looks like I'm done, but I actually have to remember that my original problem involved x's and not y's. So I'm going to come back to my x squared equals y and replace my final answer here. Uh, instead of 2y plus 3, it's going to be 2x squared plus 3. And instead of 4y minus 5, it's going to be 4x squared minus 5. And that's actually going to be my final answer right there. Uh, I can't break down either of those any further, and that'll be it. Alright, so the equation we have is a to the fourth plus 6a squared plus 5. So what we're going to do is keep the a to the fourth, then add 1a squared plus 5. 5a squared and then plus 5 because the 1a and the 5a squared um, added together that's this equals the 6a and then multiplied equals the 5 so after that we're going to group them so you can take out an a squared from both of these this one and this one so we have a squared parentheses, take what's left, so a squared plus 1. And the next one we're going to add a 5, because you can take out a 5 
from this one and this one. Parentheses, a squared plus one. And then the final answer, we take a squared plus five. And then the next one, since this one and this one are the same, we would keep those, so a squared plus one. And that's your final answer. All right, the first step is going to be multiply 7 times the 16, and that's going to get you to negative 112. And then we're going to have to find a number that multiplies to get 112 and adds to get negative 54, and that's going to be, it's going to be negative 56M and 2M, because they add and multiply to get 54 and 112. All right, and after you've done that, you're going to want to put the put those two in parentheses. And then we're going to factor. So we're going to take out a, a 7m squared from this. And that's going to leave us with m to the second minus 8. And then hopefully we've got the same thing in the next parentheses. So we're going to take out a 2. And we're going to leave us with m minus 8. So the final step is just going to be take 7m squared plus 2 because those two things are on the outside and then you can take m squared minus 8 because they're the same thing for both. Swag. Alright, so your work here is right or your final answer is right but there's just something you're missing here and uh, in this step right here you just seem to forget that it was an m squared that we started with so we actually need to make both of those squared um, and that makes a difference down here. Um, now, your work, like I said, your final answer ended up being right. Just missing those squared made your math a little funky, but you ended up getting it done the right way. So I, I do agree with your final answer. Nice job. So for this one, you got negative x plus 6 plus 2x cubed plus 15. And so I multiplied everything by negative 1 so that this would be positive. And then we remultiplied it by negative 1 after we found 50, negative 5 and 3 to get negative x to the 6 plus 5x cubed minus 3x to the 3rd plus 15. And then we found a common factor in this one is x cubed. And then when you take it out of that, you get negative x to the 3rd plus 5. And then here, the same thing, except we took out 3. We got negative x to the 3rd plus 5. And then we just rewrote it, so we got this one here. Here. And then x to the 3rd plus 3 right here. Alright, so no um, explanation was provided for this. Uh, the work is pretty much right. The only issue that there is is, is right around here. Um, uh, it's not technically true. You probably just want to leave it as 3x to the 4th in that case. Uh, then that allows you to pull out your common factor of 3x squared. Uh, so the final answer is right. You're free to pause it and check the work and go from there. The first step in solving this trinomial is figuring out what multiplies to 15 and adds to negative 8. That is negative 3 and negative 5. After that, you rewrite the problem using negative 3 and negative 5, and you come up with x to the 4th minus 3x squared minus 5x squared plus 15. Then you group. You come up with x to the 4th minus 3x squared as one group and negative 5x squared plus 15 as the other. Then you find out what comes out of both, so you find the GCF. Of the first grouping, x squared comes out, and you're left with x squared minus 3. For the next grouping, negative 5 comes out, and you are left with x squared minus 3. Because they are squared and it is a minus, and 5 and 3 are not perfect squares, you cannot go any farther. So your final answer is one group of x squared minus 5, and the other being x squared minus 3. Thank you, and good night. This problem is 7u to the 4 plus 41u squared plus 30. 
So I'm going to let x equal u squared. So I can substitute anything that's u squared for x. So first you can do 7u to the squared squared plus 41 u squared plus 30 and then you can substitute the u squared for the x now so it would be 7 x squared plus 41 x plus 30 and then you can factor like it's a regular equation. So you can do 7 times 30, which equals 210. And your factor pairs that will add up to get 41 and multiply to get to 10 is 35 and 6. So you can put those into your equation. 7x squared plus 35x plus 6x plus 30. And then you can group them. And in the first part, right here, you can take out 7x. And then you can put in x plus 5. And in the second part, right here, you can put in 6x, well, plus 6x, or just 6, and then x plus 5 in the parentheses. That will get you 7x plus 6 and x plus 5. But now we have to put this back in. So it would be u squared or 7u squared plus 6. Oh, the bathroom. That's a loser. And then u squared plus 5. And this would be your final answer.